Well, today, General Rudder, we can say, welcome home. I started right around Christmas 2015, and I finished it up in uh, the latter part of August, the early part of September of 2017. It's always a challenge when you're doing a person who you don't get to, to get in front of you, to look at, and there's not a whole lot of pictures of Roll Rudder out there. As researching it, I found that right after uh, the invasion of Normandy, I found a picture of him from the parade. He was dressed up, but he wasn't too dressed up. He still had kind of his work clothes on, you know. And I thought, this, that's, that's how I want to show him. I want to show him as a soldier, but a leader. Kind of a hero, but a working man. I knew pretty quick what stance I wanted him to have. I think when my biggest struggle came was the weight of the fabrics of that time period. You want to get those right. You want to feel the heavy wool of, of the jacket and, and the pants and how the pants fall. I wanted a serviceman to walk up to it and it be right. I think he very much has a look on his face of father or a teacher or uh, some role model in their life that, that gives them just that, that uh, you got it. You, you can do this. Until we get to see all of this put together, it's kind of surreal right now. Oh, this is, this is an exciting time of, of this whole process is when it finally gets to its home and it gets where it's supposed to be and, and where you know it's going to be for, for generations to come. This is it. This is the exciting part. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come to unveil the statue of General James Earl Rudder. Uh, when I think about uh, the legacy of, of, of these words, I think about my grandson. And, and if he's walking through the Tolkien campus, you know, to be able to say, you know, this one grandpa did, you know. <laughs>